Oxytocin promotes uterine contractions through the activation of calcium channels associated with receptors in the release of sarcoplasmic reticulum calcium, or in other words, induces labor. Oxytocin binds to the receptor and is mediated by a second messenger, which is regulated by a voltage or hormone regulation on the muscle cell and by contractor-mediated extracellular calcium influx. The binding of the oxytocin to the receptor and the influx of the calcium ions through the voltage channel triggers the activation of PLC, CPLA2, MAPK cascade, and RHOA or ROK. The activation of PLC then triggers the transformation of PIP2 into PI3 and DAG, which then transforms into PKC and leads to the formation of MAPK cascade activation. The PI3 triggers the release of calcium ions from the sarcoplasmic reticulum along with the calcium ions from the voltage-regulated channel, which then combines with the calmodulin to form the CA2 calmodulin complex. Oxytocin increases the activity of mitogen-activated protein kinases through the mediation of a G protein. At the same time, the MAPK cascade activation causes the production of prostaglandin, which plays a part in the contraction and relaxation of smooth muscles. Lastly, the RHOA ROK activation triggers the phosphorylation of MLC. All of these things lead to the contraction of the uterus, which helps the mother deliver the baby.